Okay, before we begin, I'm just going to introduce you to a few of the presets available inside Photoshop by Adobe. I want you to start by selecting File, New, or Control and N for keyboard shortcut. I'm just going to quickly whiz through the options in this dialog box. The first thing that you'll see is the width and the height and the resolution. The width is governed by the width of your canvas in pixels, and the height is in um, pixels as well. So I've got 800 by 600. We can just click and highlight and punch in those numbers if you haven't already done so. And from the dialog box here, the drop down, you'll see you can change that. So if you don't want 800 pixels, you can work in inches, centimeters, millimeters, and so forth as well. We've also got our resolution. Now, the resolution is governed by pixels per square inch. We can also change this if we want to as well. We can have pixels per um, centimeters. We always work, always tend to work in um, pixels per square inch. Now, 72 pixels per square inch is okay for a web standard, and I'm really setting this up for um, the web. However, if you want to actually go off and produce your artwork or your composition that you create in, in this chapter, I would really recommend bumping this up to 300 or 350 as a minimum starting point. You will see a massive um, change in file size, so obviously the more pixels per, per inch means a sharper crystal clear image. So as currently I've got this on to 72 pixels per inch per square inch so this is really governed by the units for that resolution and we can increase this number ie the higher the number it becomes the bigger the file size however the better quality of image so it's really used for print if you want to increase the resolution and then go off and print it I recommend bumping that figure up to around about 300 to 350 or even more depending on the size of the initial artwork brings us on to the background contents. Now, I always like to use transparent. We can use background white if you want to. However, I find it a pain going back and if we want to actually go back to make it transparent, it's very difficult. To make life a lot easier, I always choose transparent from this option here. Like so. We've then got Ad from the advanced options we've then got color profiles now color profiles are primarily to do with those individuals who want better color profile or color management within their document now it's it's a good way to synchronize a machine or somebody else's machine to work with the same color profile let me give you an example so if we work on an artwork or a photograph and i want to really send it to the printers so i'll ftp over to the printer he would then, I would, I would expect him or her to use the same color profiles or embed the color profile inside the document. So what I'm actually seeing is exactly the same photograph that that other individual is seeing as well. And there are certain standards, so even though the monitors may vary in companies, they may have an Apple machine, I may have a PC machine or vice versa, um, these color profiles are really designed to get around that those those hardware c concerns and issues so they're quite cool I generally use an sRGB there's loads loads of um, different color profiles that I don't really want to get into at this stage I, I would recommend you can use go ahead and use the Adobe RGB or you can use the sRGB as well okay and again the pixel aspect ratio for this one I want you to use square pixels we'll talk about um, what the what these others do later. Now I've set this up as a custom preset. Notice up here on the preset you, we've also got different other presets available f that Adobe have provided. So for example if I select web it will give us what Adobe thinks um, a web profile should be. So 640 by 480 which is quite cool and we've got 72, we've got RGB and 8 bits of color and transparent. We can also set this up for film straight away you'll see notice some difference in um, size and compression and again we've got different color profiles and a different as um, pixel aspect ratio as well That's, that'll be set up for film and TV so I'm just gonna go back to my custom one if you already haven't done done so I'm just gonna quickly switch this back to an 800 by 600 just so that my my canvas is somewhat spacious and I'm gonna set that up to transparent and my color profile to sRGB and square pixels and we're ready to rock. 